Boom, what's up everybody, my name is Kim and today we're going to be taking a look at to pass a Sharpen AI and I'm going to be using it as a plugin for uh, Affinity Photo. So we're just going to get pretty much straight to it. I have this picture here of this flower, not sure what it's called, I'm sure some of you know. So if I zoom in here we can see it's pretty good detail and up here some out of focus very shallow depth of field on this image so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna duplicate it as always and then i'm just gonna right click on it and rasterize i'm gonna go up to filters plugins to pass labs and sharpen ai opening up in a new uh, window here the same as uh, the denoise uh, the same layout here so we have all the file menu up here we have masking tool you can see the original you can set up your split view mode or single view or side by side you can zoom and then you have undo redo navigation window auto update preview we have the modes here and then we have auto and then we have settings auto here as well so just to take a look what it, it starts on stabilize you can already now see that it's kind of looks like they just dragged up the clarity filter and if you look down here it looks um, not too great it's just doing its recalculation again it's not too terribly slow but this doesn't look very good in my opinion so let's go over to focus and see what it does there and this looks not good in my opinion at least not on this image it looks like the high pass they just put a high pass on and dragged it all the way to the right so that's not very good and then we have the sharpen one. And this is a lot more subtle. So this looks like they've used put on the high pass filter again, but with a lot less aggressiveness, something like that. So let's see what happens if you just hit this auto. It's saying it's choosing stabilize. That's what uh, what they reckon is the best. Let it recalculate again. I'm not a big fan. We will try the auto for settings. See what they do. It's got to recalculate again. And that looks better than what it did before, but still a bit too much for my taste. Especially look around here and up here. So what I would do is probably just keep it on sharpen and leave it on auto. It's going to do this thing again. And we can see that looks a lot better to me. It's subtle, but it's it's doing the job really good. Okay, so when you're done with it, you can also add grain to the post post processing here, but I'm not that's not the goal here. I don't want to do it. So I'm just going to hit apply. If you didn't use it as a plugin, but as a standalone, it would say save when you would get up a save dialog box. And here we have it on. So let's see if we see a difference on the 100% view here. I know it's maybe hard for you all to see, but I can see a difference around the edges and in here. So if I zoom in again, like so, we're just going to turn it off. I would say that's a pretty decent job. I like the sharpen mode the best on uh, on to pass sharpen AI. So if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and uh, 
let me know in the comments down below if uh, this is something you like the to pass series the to pass sharpen ai if you have any suggestions for a tutorial or something else please let me know in the comments down below and i'll see what i can do see you all next time